And um, I got with the real run. The real run was like the Drew League, how it is now. The real run was like at that stage. All the pro players was playing the real run. But I got with the founder of it. His name is DeAnthony Langston. And we, I got to him. I said, bro, let's do something for these college students. Let's do something for these college athletes. And I had this vision of incorporating the pl- uh, the rappers that's from the city as well. And I'm like, you know what? Basketball players trying to be rappers, rappers trying to be hoopers. Let's come <laughs> together and like, let's do something dope for our community, right? Um, I've been doing these last four or five years, I've been getting a lot of pro players from LA, from James Harden, Russell Westbrook, DeMar DeRozan, uh, Baron Davis, Paul Pierce, Tina Thompson. Um, I've been getting like a lot of the current and retired pro players to come together to give back information to the youth, right? Um, we are really from the city and my main thing is to find ways for us to be visible, right? And and I had this idea with the college league. I said, you know what? How about I add the homies from the city that's rappers? So I got with Dom Kennedy, and Dom Kennedy was like, hey, bro, that is fire. Let's do it. And I got with G Perico. Then I got with Game. I hit up my brother Sonic. I said, Sonic, what game on? Game was like, hey, just make sure my teammate boo-boo. And then it came to, <laughs> then it came to Blue Bucks, and it came to like artists from Carson, like One Take J and then Kalen for real, for a reason. Um, then I got with Joe Moses. So a lot of the rappers, like including G Malone and, you know, I'm just, and Rucci, you know, a lot of them was like, bro, this is something amazing. Um, this is something that we could change the game with, um, especially like hopefully, you know, uh, from the inner city, the youth from both men's and women, they could, we could come together and see like, dang, like, if they are coming together as athletes and rappers, you know, why we can't, you know? Um, so, you know, that was the whole vision and now it's starting to come together and, and become a reality. So I can't wait, you know, for it to come, you know, for it to, you know, to be that reality. Well, you said you already have uh, your aligned um, artists that will be participating in Real Run. Is there any, you know, celebrity rapper, singer that you would love to join, whether it's like, you know, Diddy or something like that, or even Snoop Dogg. Is there any, is there any um, celebrities you want to like give a shout out to like, hey, you should join Real Run, come through. Like, is there anyone off the top of your head? Hey, you know what? So well, like I said, the Real Run was that pro league from before, right? And if you like look back, like Chris Brown used to play in a Real Run all the time. Like he used to play in it all the time, but I would love for, for Diddy and Snoop or whoever. Like, you, if you from L.A., Issa, like, if you from L.A., like, you really, like, that person, man, show up and let's do something amazing for our community. You know, like, you don't have to do it by yourself. We could do it as a squad, as a team. Like, that's why I, uh, I was I would love that Silas, shout out to Silas and DJ Hair, right? Like, they put me in touch with Kelly, you know, and, and Kelly was able to, you know, work her magic and do what she do, right? So, um and that's what it's about like you know just let's let's come together and take care of the community you know and people as you th- as you think of the inner city they look at fashion music and sports Definitely. so now that the music and sports is coming together you know and then you have like a brandon jennings that who has this mm-hmm. tough crowd brand right like now we're going to incorporate everything so it could be real fresh like and like la you know like everybody watching and waiting to see what we do and I feel like we can make this endless dream like really come true in other states and cities. Is this something that you see ultimately becoming like a nationwide league or is it, are you just going to keep it? I know you're LA native. Are you specifically just going to keep it in California or is it something down the road that you see going nationwide? Yeah, I think we could do this in all the, all other states, especially the states that have like multiple college uh, universities. Like I feel because LA, if you think, so Cal, we have probably like around 12, 13, like D1s. Mm-hmm. So, um, so, but my main thing is definitely, uh, hopefully we'll be able to like really like introduce this to many, uh, many states, many cities. You got to think the last time we could see like actual college players play is, I believe like if they make it to the final four is like April. So you got to think from April, so May, June, July, August, September, it's like six to like seven months that we can't even see college players play. So I think this is a way for us to, you know, stay in tune and continue to cheer because everybody's cheering for the high school players because, you know, the AAU world and then the NBA players, when they come back, 
you know, and playing their summer league. Nobody's talking about college players, you know. So hopefully this could be a, a direction that could go in to make sure that all levels get love. This is a huge thing that could, like, can definitely change the game of basketball. And uh, you did uh, you did mention, like, Juju was going to be uh, possibly a part of this uh, uh, league. Is there yes. any uh, um, top college players that you can confirm will be at the real run? So right now I've been talking out now, now I'm doing my best, everybody. I'm doing my best <laughs> to make sure Bronny is playing. I'm doing my best. Uh, but most likely it's going to be like just players from USC. So uh, I'm thinking I, I got to talk with Boogie Ellis more. Boogie Ellis is is, is definitely involved. Uh, Ethan Anderson that's going to Pepperdine. I was at SC. Um, Jared McCain, don't know yet because a lot of them are incoming freshmen. So a lot of them are going to their schools. So um, this really just a, a, a activation that we're going to be doing with uh, a lot of college players who are coming home for the summer, but the ones who are at the schools here. So, um, so everything is like in the mix and getting ready.